So you're strolling along the battlefield in a casual match. Your team is pushing out pretty well, you're getting some pretty decent kill sprees, and things seem great. When all of a sudden... Right behind you. <laughs> That's right. Today we're going to be talking about the spy and how you as the heavy can combat them. Alright, so if there's one thing we all know about spies, it's that they're always looking to get all up in that backwards facing hitbox. So whenever you're trailing along, make sure that you're always periodically turning around to check your back, just in case there's a spy creeping up behind you. The trick is to do this sparingly, but not so much that you're not aware of what you're running into. Next, try and keep yourself close to walls, that way you know you're at least blocking off one direction from which the spies can attack. You don't have to hug every wall, just do it when you feel spies are around. For example, ah! my teleporter. My dispenser. Ah! Which brings us to our next point, checking your surroundings. Spies can be very good actors and can disguise as any person on your team. So when checking for spies, be sure to look out for these kind of things. Teammates that don't shoot or heal. Teammates running in the total opposite direction of the point. and scouts that run just a little too slow. Now as far as gun strategy goes, most of your miniguns are going to do you about the same good versus spies, although the ones that allow you to rev faster will likely help you the most against approaching spies. There are two unique miniguns though that will give you a little more help than the rest. As we all know, the Huo Long Heater will blow rings of fire around you while you're shooting it. While most experienced spies will just jump over these rings, this can come in handy against novice spies and pushing up payload cards while actively turning. The other unique minigun for fighting spies is the Tomislav. My personal bias aside, the Tomislav has the unique abilities to rev up the fastest against approaching spies and to stay quiet while revved, giving you your best chance to hear spies decloaking. So, if you're ever having extra trouble with spies, consider using one of these last two guns. And finally, although spies do often have to rely on bits of acting, a lot of it is really just waiting for the perfect opportunities to strike. With that being said, one moment experienced spies love to go for the backstab is when you're focusing on another enemy. So, as a rule of thumb, whenever you're battling one or more enemies, try and turn around whenever you feel like you've got a moment of safety, just in case a spy is trying to take advantage of your distraction. And with those being said, that's pretty much all the major tips we've got here today for how you as the heavy can fight off the spy. Check your back, stay close to walls, know your surroundings, use gun strategy, and turn around after moments of battle. Follow these instructions and you'll now be prepared to take on even the cleverest of those freaky Frenchmen. Well, at least as prepared as you'll ever be. Bearded! Bearded! You gotta help me out! Bearded! The spies! The spies! They're everywhere! Bearded! The MG's a spy! The medic's a spy! I'm a spy! Thanks for standing still! There you go! Bearded. That was me. Yeah. Yeah, I know.